Hello, everybody. And just because there haven't been any races this side of the Tasman doesn't mean that race caller Matt Cross hasn't been busy. In fact, he's been a bit of a viral sensation. Matt, talk us through this COVID-19 race call you did and just the reaction you've had to it. Yeah, well, firstly, hi, Dave, and, and hi to everyone. Well, it's, it's been a little bit odd, I guess, when I first came up with the idea. I didn't really anticipate what was going to unfold. I thought, oh, this will be, you know, a little bit of a, a serious laugh, you could say, more so for, for the racing industry. So initially, I thought it would be a little bit inclusive. And, and then after an hour, uh, when I started getting text messages from people, I thought, OK, this, is, this has been quite well received. I guess as large as it has got, Dave, the, the biggest thing... Uh, that I've taken from it is is the messages from from people just saying how it's put a smile on their face. You know, there's a, a lot of people out there who um, their their minds are in an uncertain space. I guess you could say uh, with with what's going on around the world. So uh, for people to be able to to message me and say that it's put a, a smile on their face has has been huge. But I guess the idea kind of came from I was lying in bed one morning and I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to be able to call any races for for a while here and Obviously, uh, it, it's one of those niche jobs where uh, you don't get a lot of practice unless you, you're at the races. And I started jotting a few things down. I was just lying in bed. And, and for some reason, my mind works incredibly well. And the first thing in the morning, it's just on straight away. So I started jotting things down. And then, you know, I found myself sort of laughing at a few things myself. And I thought, oh, I'll come up with a field of horses related to to COVID-19 and what's going on. And, and I, I, I took a couple of days to write it all out. It didn't come straight off the top of my head. I can, I can tell you that much, but uh, uh, when I was happy with it, I thought it was the, the right time to, to put it out. And uh, as you say, it's been, it's been pretty well received. And uh, what about the binoculars? How did they come about? I've got them here with me actually. <laughs> uh, it, it's quite funny because I thought to myself, well, I'm going to have to have some sort of prop with me to, to be able to use. And, uh, it was actually um, Christmas wrapping paper that was sitting around in the house because obviously I thought it was, sort of thought that I'd go with the idea that there's no toilet paper lying around. So put them together, put them on the end of a stick and uh, they've almost worked like a little, little bit of clickbait, I, I guess you could say, Dave. With these in the, the shot of the video, people sort of see it and, and associate with, with what's going on. Without them, they just see my head and they're probably not as enthused by it. So uh, these little puppies here, I might, put them up in the commentary box at Addington and um, just have them there as a little bit of remembrance as to what's going on, I guess. Are you aware of the numbers? I think it's something like 700,000 on Facebook and I think 20, 30,000 on YouTube. It's a lot of lot of eyeballs on your commentary, if you like. Well, I don't, I have I have got a Twitter account, but I tend to, to stay off it. I don't really go, I go, I go on Twitter to, to find information, but I don't post a lot of stuff on there myself. But the notifications just kept popping up and popping up and popping up. And it sort of, it hit its peak after a sort of day and a half afterwards. I don't have Facebook, so I've not really been able to, to keep track of, of what's been happening on there. But I have had a few people sort of message me and say, you know, you've had this many thousand views on there. But I guess, you know, I, I don't get caught up on, on how, many, how many views there are. As I, I said earlier, it's kind of more so, you know, the, the, the special part is when you're getting texts from, from people saying how it's put a smile on their face. I guess that's where I've really got my, my kick out of it. I, it made the news. I was sitting there eating my chicken burger the night that it happened and, uh, and off it popped, up it popped on the news. I just about spat my burger out. But, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite well spread. And, and from all reports, everyone's got a pretty good laugh out of it. So uh, I'm happy on that front. And just like any uh, movie that's a blockbuster, uh, there's always a sequel. Is there going to be COVID-19 part two? Is it going to happen? Uh, I, I've thought about it. I've had a few people say to me, you know, can you do one weekly? And then I thought, oh, it might not have the same sort of effect. So maybe when we come out of it, Dave, we might have to come up with something and, and have a few few more horse, uh, horse names like uh, Allowed Out Now and... Um, down to the shops I go and, and sort of things like that. But uh, yeah, maybe a sequel once we come out of it. That might be something to look forward to. Well, Matt Cross, you're always a good sport. Thank you very much for your time and all the best. Thanks for having me, Dave. It's been a pleasure.